As you may know from a couple of the videos that I have made, some of the quests in Firefly Forest have been updated. And this, these quest updates brought a little new intro thing to the area that showed a bit of what was happening in that specific place. Here are the three screens that were for the beginning of Firefly Forest. By now, there have been these new quest intros found for all four other elemental areas, either in the game itself or in the code. And in this video, I am going to break down each of these new quest intros. As a disclaimer, as far as we know right now, none of the actual quests in the other elemental areas have been updated. Whenever we get the, those updates, I will be sure to make a video about it. So let's start off with what Shiverchill Mountains looks like. The ones for Firefly Forest and Shiverchill Mountains are a bit different than the other three, so let's just start with Shiverchill Mountains. Here is the first image. In this image, we see several pets running away or running around a mountain. These pets are Batabash, Frostjaw, Frostfang, Bataram, Ruckus, Shivertusk, and Ice Creator. Now these are all ice and physical pets that they have included on there, but it is a bit odd that they have included Shivertusk. The reason is most likely because of the beta update that allows us to catch Shiver Tusk in Shiver Chill Mountains along with other rare pets, and but that update is definitely not out yet, so we cannot tell for sure if they are actually going to keep it. But this first image is pretty cool, let's take a look at the second one. This second image shows the Ice Worm the boss of Shiverchill Mountains, in front of the Frozen Throne, hoarding a chest of wands and gold, while a wizard is standing up against it, pointing a wand at it. This one is pretty self-explanatory, so let's look at the third image. This shows the Ice Gem and the Puppet Master beside it, wanting to take it. Now of course, these images make me very interested to see what the new quests of Shiverchill Mountains are going to look like. If they are anything as interesting as the ones that we have had so far in Firefly Forest, we are in for a treat. I am very excited for all of the quests in all of the elemental areas. I cannot wait to see what Prodigy does with them. But now let's move on to Skywatch, which is a bit different because it has a dialogue on the image. It's actually more like a description. We'll have to see which one they actually keep. This first image shows Gramps inside his office in the Skywatch factory, accidentally electrocuting Benny with some sort of uh, elect electronic thing. I think it's a nice touch that outside the window are the other islands of Prodigy, Bonfire Spire, Shivertill Mountains, and Firefly Forest. And I really like the, like, old design of this parchment. It's like a scroll that is showing us Skywatch's past. It's the same cool design for the others as well. The text at the bottom reads, Skywatch, like its name, watches over all of Prodigy from the sky and controls the weather. Now let's move on to the second image. This image shows Gearsight, Tribeak, Wick, Nibluff, and Cloudcaller stealing vegetables from Broccolina. The text underneath reads, Rare pets fly through the clouds collecting storm power. Battle and collect pets of storm magic. The final image shows the Skywatch gem and the Puppet Master looking like he's about to take it. The text underneath says the Puppet Master thinks he can use the weather to control Prodigy. Stop him with the Skywatch Keystone. Of course, it is telling us to complete the quests so that we can earn the Skywatch Keystone. Now, the ones in Bonfire Spire and Shipwreck Shore are very similar to these. 
Starting with the ones in Bonfire Spire, this first image just shows some fire pets playing around. There's an Ashlet and a Smoldash, a Puck and an Auracute, and a Singenute and a Burnute. The text reads, Volcanoes filled with lava swimming pools and fire dragons. Battle and collect pets of fire magic. I don't think that first sentence really made any sense, but we'll move on anyway. The second image shows Queen Gulia and her slime friends feasting on a bunch of food. The text says, Queen Gulia loves food and has parties for her friends. Bring her tasty treats and she may invite you. Now, that is not exactly the impression we get of Queen Gulia while we are doing the quests in Bonfire Spire, but maybe that will change with the new quests. We will have to wait and see. Now, the final image shows the Puppet Master reaching out to take the Bonfire Gem. The text says, The Puppet Master needs power of fire magic to be stronger. Stop him by finding the bonfire keystone. And from there, we would go on with the quests. Now lastly, we have Shipwreck Shore. This image shows us some water pets, along with a couple physical pets. These are Flick Flit, Trample and Stampede, Naughty, Aquariot, Aquaster, and Fathom. The text reads, Explore a world below the land where amazing deep ocean water pets can put out fires anywhere. This image shows the old one, the boss of Shipwreck Shore, basically destroying a pirate ship that is basically made of gold. The text says the ocean has many secrets and lost treasures, with powerful beasts that can snap a ship in two. This final image shows the Puppet Master reaching out to grasp the Shipwrecked Shore Gem, and the text says, The Puppet Master wants to control all land and sea pets. Stop him by finding the Shipwreck Keystone. So that is a wrap on all of our new quest intros. I am pretty sure that all of these can be seen in the game with beta updates, but remember that there are no updated quests yet for the other elemental areas. We have to wait on those. But of course, I am very excited to see all of the new quests across all of the islands. So, what do you think about these new quest intros? Do you like them? Are you excited for the upcoming quest updates? Let me know in the comments!